how to take contour lines from QGIS and stick it into Blender. I'm gonna swap mics. First thing we do is take some um, geo-reference texture and you can grab that from Google Earth. Just go to your location and then file, uh, save image and find a location on your hard drive. And then we're gonna use a plugin called GeoReferencer. GeoReferencer will help you put some coordinates onto your downloaded image. So I'm just gonna open up that image I just downloaded. And then it's a case of adding points. Make sure the add point icon is selected in the top menu bar there. I'm gonna show you that that's the add point. And then we click on a point somewhere on our image and that will switch over to the QGIS browser. We click on the same location inside the QGIS browser. We confirm it, click OK. Then we find another point in the GeoReferencer. Click the edge of this house here. Click from Map Canvas. That will automatically switch over again to the QGIS browser. Confirm that point and you just repeat that process until you get uh, a bunch of points. I'm not sure how many you need. I think I grabbed about six or seven, but you don't need that many. Then you hit that um, the cog, the transformation cog. You click a target CRS, which is the target um, coordinate reference system you are, you need to work in. That's really important. Then you find an output location to save it to. G Google Earth uh, Geo Reference. Click save. Um, no compression and make sure you've got load in queue just when done ticked. Click OK and when that's done you can hit the play button and that will um, process your image and put some coordinates on there. You can see it's um, just uploaded that into the QGIS. And there we have it. That's, that's our uh, file georeferenced. So let's clip the georeferenced image to the size we need. I'm going to turn on the original LiDAR um, file and uh, use that as a guide. And then go into reference, uh, sorry, raster, extraction, clipper. Then we pick out the source, which is GE GeoReference. That's a file we've just made. Um, find an image location for it. Um, give it a name, GeoReference, clipper, clipped. Save, and no data value, click. And we drag out the extents of our canvas, get it to this size, and uh, yeah, hit OK. Chair reference texture clipped, done. So we need to install the Blender GIS plugin, which can be found on the GitHub. Uh, just type in Blender GIS and download the zip. Um, double click the zip and put all the contents um, except the readme file inside a specific folder inside Blender. I think on the Mac it is uh, in applications, Blender, right click, show package contents, um, contents, resources, scripts and add-ons. You want to put it in the add-ons folder. Then Blender system reference um, add-ons, type in BGIS and hit all the check marks. can now import shapefiles. So just go into your shapefile folder and then grab your shp file and pay attention to this uh, field name here. I've written elev because if I go into QGIS, open up the attribute table and under the values which I want, the title is called elev. So we have to import the shapefile now and it's inside Blender and on the left hand side there's a tab called GIS. You want to select your mesh and hit uh, triangulation and that will form a mesh from our contour lines. Yes, success. Then we want to import a georeference raster. That's the one we made earlier. In the import properties drop down menu make sure you've got on mesh selected. And we are done. Now you just need to apply your rendering skills. <laughs>